everyone and welcome to the crib. Where did that We're going to hell. The Super 7 Ultimate Slayer. Slayer! Minotaur. From their debut album, Show No Mercy. Formed in 1981, Slayer is considered to be one of the godfathers of thrash metal. It's a freaking fact, actually. Slayer is one of the most iconic metal bands of all time. Up there with the likes of Metallica. As I said before, this is a figure based on their first album, Show No Mercy, from 1983. The album includes such hits as The Antichrist and Black Magic. Ah! Bro, look at this freaking box, dude. Including a stencil so you can cut the Slayer logo into your arm. Ah! The freaking burn marks on the box. The fire, the pentagram, the logo. Dude, that's so freaking sick. Slayer easily has one of the greatest logos of all time. Bro, look at it. And we cut it on a freaking action figure, man. How sick is that? What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Let's get the slip off. Bro. Absolutely disgusting, man. I love it. Daddy, chill. What? Got the album font on the back. What? The Minotaur from Show No Mercy. Dude, that's so cool. Sick. Look at the pentagram window, man. That's so sick. I gotta say it, man. Fuck it, Slayer. <gasps> Excuse me, I had to get that out. Looks like some bomb ass accessories. And it looks like a bomb ass figure. <laughs> Let's get him open. Man, there's that show no mercy pose. Bro, this figure is sick nasty. How could it not be? It's Slayer. The painting and sculpting is fantastic, as always from Super 7. We got the cloth good cape, bro. Are you kidding? Bendy wire? Ooh. One of the swords from the freaking logo? Bro, he's sick. Let's take a look at his accessories. And then we will get into the figure himself. And here we have the fucking Slayer Minotaur accessories. Starting off, we have the first head sculpt. Bro, that is that is something else, man. Fur looks great. Got the translucent plastic up top for the flame. Upright pentagram. These sick ass goat horns. Slip pupils, gnarly looking teeth. Bro, it's a damn cool head sculpt. Super sick. Here we have the other head sculpt. Eyes wide open, mouth open. That that that's your differences. Looks sweet, man. Little comparison here. The sword. Not only is it the sword that the Minotaur is holding on the album cover, it is also the sword that makes up Slayer's logo. Just need three more of them. Hand. Shit. Two fists. I love the white nail detail. That's sick. We have, uh, as above, so below hands. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool addition for the figure. Four holding hands. Like, they're the exact same. Like, I cannot tell a difference between them. Like, even the grip looks similar. I mean, I don't see a difference there, but whatever. And two devil horn hands. Very sick. Again, I love the nail detail. Very sick. Well, slow down, asshole. And finally, the freaking cape, man. Oh! Got this dark red tattered at the bottom that's so cool. <laughs> Bendy wire on the left side and right side. Got the chain. Very cool. You know, they could have just went cheap with it and given us a plastic, plastic ass piece of plastic. Fucking plastic. Cape that didn't pose and didn't do shit. They went the extra mile and gave us the cloth goods, man. Always appreciated. So now that we got his accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Minotaur. Shooting blood from your god. <laughs> Good job. And here we have the Slayer Minotaur. Sl 
Let's get into it, man. Obviously, I've got imposed in the, you know, the typical Slayer fan, the fucking Slayer fan. <laughs> All right, man, you just gotta say it that way. You gotta say, you gotta say the whole damn thing. Please say the whole thing, if you would. Anyway, figure's freaking awesome, man. Not perfect. Absolutely not perfect. You asshole. I think it's pretty cool. We got like a WWE Mattel like wrestling body going on here. I have to let uh, my brother My Damn Toys take a look at it. <laughs> He's just putting off, you know, Mattel Elite vibes. This torso here. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold sets up. As I said, painting and sculpting is fantastic. I love the cloth good cake. Um, your basic articulation, 90 degree elbows. Tight 90 degree knee. Got the rubber kind of vinyl feeling undies over here. Coffee. A um, little bit of a picnic. We could have a picnic. Ankles. I just, that ankle pivot is way too picnic. loose on both feet. So that is going to be a little bit of a problem. No biggie. Just got to be careful posing. Getting Ninja Turtle vibes from these feet, by the way. Camel toe boots. I love the Slayer belt buckle. And belt for that matter. I love the wrist gauntlets, the belt, top of the boots, the studs. Very cool, very sick, very metal. I like the bronzing in the skin color. Don't know how much of that is coming through on, on film. But it's got some very subtle bronze skin color. Kind of shading. Ooh, there's the, the Minabak. Coffee. Oh, there's your full ab crunch, by the way. Ah! Look how looking up he can look up. My spine! And how looking down he can look down. Bro, he's a very cool figure. A well-articulated, sculpted, fantastic figure of a thing that nobody would expect a figure to get made of. Finish it! Finish it! Ah! Let's do some comparisons. Where's the giant, Mansley? What? Here we have the Super 7 Ultimates, Slayer Minotaur. Stop! Up next to the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is obviously screaming, Slayer! <laughs> Fucking Slayer. Up next to another metal legend, the Super 7 Ultimates, Cliff Burton. <laughs> the Super 7 Ultimates, Lemmy. Good asshole. And the Super 7 Ultimates, Papa Emeritus 2. Papa Emeritus. 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 Damn it, Chris, it's Emeritus. Uh. And finally, the McFarlane, James Hetfield. <laughs> so what do we think, man? What's the final word on the Show No Mercy Slayer Minotaur? Asshole. I think the figure is sick. Nasty. Absolutely sick nasty. The addition of the cloth good cape really sets it over the edge. We got some basic articulation, but damn good sculpt work and paint. Not to mention the absolute ridiculousness of having this in figure form. And this isn't all. There's a special black magic edition coming later this year. And you can bet your ass. I'm going to get it. What do y'all think, man? Are y'all Slayer fans? Or are your opinions on music wrong? Let me know down in the comments. You suck. As for me, I give the Super 7 Ultimates Minotaur, Slayer Minotaur, the rating of... Ari! Or, I don't, I don't know, maybe like 666 sixes out of 6, something like that.